Hello again, this is Transair38 coming to you again with another video review. And today we are taking a look at the new Transformers Masterpiece Alert, aka Red Alert. But first and foremost, I want to address this right away. This is a KO of the original Masterpiece figure. So yeah, you guys are saying, really? A KO? Yeah, it's a KO. It's people... Like a third party company making these figures for people that can't afford the high up MP figures, which is awesome. So it helps out a lot of people. So, yeah, he comes here with all of his accessories. But first and foremost, I want to thank a good friend of mine for helping me get this figure, and his name is Jose. Thank you, dude. You rock. Two thumbs up, dude. You rock. Thank you very much. So, yeah, back to the figure. So he comes with all these accessories here, and first and foremost, let's take a quick look at the packaging, shall we? So you got nice artwork on the front, just like the original MP. You got Lamborghini Countach LP500S. So yeah, very nice Lamborghini. So yeah, MP14, Autobot, Cybertron. Security Director, if you guys can see that. Security Director. Alert. And you got a whole bunch of this right there. Can't read that. Very nice artwork. Takara Tommy. So yeah, very nice. You come around to the back. You got MP Prime with him. And you can go into his trailer. Which is very neat. So yeah. Very cool. And you can see he can... He has his blaster, and you got those static things on his head. These things here, just like on the one episode he was in, whenever he was losing his mind, getting very confused. But yeah, very cool artwork on him. Coming to the side, you got a nice picture of him in vehicle mode. Come to the top, you got nice silver. Holographic look. Transformers Masterpiece. You come around. Does the same thing on that side. So yeah. <clears throat> it's a box. So yeah. But. Let's get back to the figure. So. He comes with a nice looking. Credit card looking. I want to say credit card. It's like a cardboard. It's very flexible. Got a nice little MP collector card. Cybertron Security Director Alert. Got a very nice artwork of them. You come around to the back, you got his tech specs and technical data. So yeah, very cool. We'll set that off to the side. And you come with this, must be a sweepstakes or something. You could win. <laughs> I have no clue. So yeah. So it's some kind of sweepstakes, you can win something. Uh, something weird, but yeah. And you come with his instructions. Uh, very, very nice bio here. Looks like it shows. But wish I could read that. So it comes down to his instructions here. And you show all the details. Top view. Side view. Robot modes. Some parts. Guns. Circuit trouble. <sighs> Then you get down to the transformation for this guy. So, this guy don't look that hard to transform. So, so that's the instructions for this guy. So, let's go focus on our main figure, Red Alert, here. So, he comes with all these accessories here. He gets a gun. Very nice red gun compared to the original G1. And you got his cannon for on top of his shoulder. And then, other cool feature is you got... The circuit head piece that you put on his head act like he's losing his mind, just like in that one episode. So these weapons do combine and put it together. This you just set off to the side. But you can grab this here and you can post it on top of his lights. 
So if you really like that, really not appealing for a police car. Which is very funny that this piece can come right out. Because this is the same mode that was shared with Sideswipe. So yeah, very cool. So we'll set this off to the side. For right now. And let's focus on Red Alert. He's a very cool looking Lamborghini. And it's his fire department. has an Autobot logo on it. Very nice. Got a nice spoiler. So yeah. Very cool. Get some nice wheels going on here. You come to the back. My one friend said. You can see it's misspelled. Because on the box. It says Lamborghini Contach. I can't pronounce that. And it doesn't say that on the back. It's spelled wrong. But it has Lamborghini spelled right. If I can zoom in there for you. There you go. It has it spelled right. So yeah. That's the only thing I can see wrong with this figure. Very cool figure indeed. So enough of me blabbering on. For a size comparison for this dude, I'm going to bring out the new Transformers IDW Bumblebee. You can see he's just a little bit bigger than IDW Bumblebee. So I'm saying this is like a Voyager slash Deluxe, if you can call it that. <sighs> so, yeah, they really stack up to each other. So, yeah. But for another size comparison, why not just do a size comparison with his classics? Red alert. So yeah, really got an upgrade, didn't he? Fire rescue on that side, but this had the fire department on this side. More G1 accurate. But yeah, very cool indeed. So, we'll set him off to the side. So enough of me blabbering on. Let's transform this dude and see how awesome he is. First thing you want to do is come underneath here, move his wheels out, pull them in there like that. You want to come to the side, you want to grab this panel here, you're going to swing this out like so. Do the same thing on this side like so. You want to move his arms out like that. Then you want to move this forward, which is you have to hold this, push it back just a little bit. Gives it stress off this plastic since this is a KO. Help it out. And there we go. And that's the first part of the transformation. Then you want to come to the back here. Just untab this section here. And untab this section here. And this should allow, come on, there we go, this should allow you to untab this piece and slide it up that like that. So that's the top part, you don't want to worry about that. But now you want to go and come to the back here, untab these pieces here, you want to move these over, you want to swing these up. Come on, swing these up, like so. I'll pull these down as his feet. You want to turn them around. These tat, you'll see these pieces here. You have to dig out and move to the side. Like so. You want to go down to his feet. Get his heels and stuff situated. Pull this down. You'll see a 
tab here and this little tab here will go in. You have to move it over just a little bit then push it in. Pull that up like that and you got one leg. Now do the same thing on this side. Get his foot out just down. Like so. This piece should rotate up. There we go. There we go, his legs. Now for the rest of it, you want to lean this back and pull it forward again. You want to collapse this down. First move this down. You want to pull this down. You see this tab here, and there's like a hidden piece in here, and you want to line it up and put it on it, like so. His head will reveal, but it's half half open, but you have to close it, like so. And you got his arms. You want to come back here to the doors. You want to pull them out. In like that. You want to pull this down like that. That's become his backpack. Then what you want to do for his hands, reveal his hands like that. And there, my friends, you got MP Red Alert. Very cool figure. Now he can hold his gun. Very nicely. Got a very nice shoulder movement. Then you can grab his cannon. And it sits right on in there. Like so. So yeah. This figure is awesome very awesome indeed now for this little tidbit you can grab this and just slip it right on his head like he's going berserk so yeah this MP red alert is sweet so yeah very good articulation he has a bow joint here you can move his knee back and forth swivel also his feet can pivot a little bit not much. Very good arm movement. Just like I showed you. So yeah. Very awesome figure. I do want to thank my friend Jose for helping me get this figure. Thank you dude. You rock. This figure really is awesome. So yeah. That's all I can say about this Red Alert figure. So this is TransAaron38 talking to you again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe and comment if you haven't. And don't forget to check out my Twitter and follow me on Twitter and keep a lookout for any new videos headed your way. And this is TransAaron38 talking to you again. Have an awesome day.